I guess it's time to let the cat out of the bag. I don't know. I think I want to keep it a secret. We can't keep it a secret forever. I'm Tammy, and this is my husband, Scott. We are two artists who traded in our home and art studio for a home studio on wheels. Along with Gracie and Jasper, we've hit the road full time in search of new landscapes and inspiration. And we'd love to have you join us on our adventures. We really hate to tell everyone because we want to make sure there's a spot for us when we come back. But we want this campground to do well because they deserve it. Yeah, they're good people. This is Honey Bear by the Sea, and it's a private RV resort. And this is one of our favorite parts, aside from the five minute walk to the ocean. This is why I call our campground Honey Bear Heaven. We listened to this for seven months straight from our bed. Every night we could hear this surf. I gotta miss it. For sure. I mean, it doesn't get any better than this. Why are we going anywhere? Holy moly. I'm gonna take up body surfing. Look at this. <laughs> but they have this huge, beautiful meadow down here. And there's ponds. There's a creek on the other side and the elk like to come and hang out down here. The tent sites are spaced way out, so it's like you have this all this greenery and space and trees to yourself because the campsites are around the whole perimeter. I'll give you a little tour of the tent sites. It's amazing. If I were a tent camper, this is where I'd be. Yeah. <laughs> T stands for tent, so. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. This one's completely down at the end of the meadow. This little corridor behind me is where the elk come wandering through. So if your tent was parked right here, chances are you might wake up in the morning with elk right outside your, your tent when you unzip the door. Elk outside the window. And all of the sites on this side of the tent area down at the meadow or along this beautiful stream. And if you're on the other side, there's several ponds. You just, you can't go wrong anywhere down here. Any tent site in this campground is a win. This is my favorite campsite in the meadow. I just love this spot. It's really serene, the creek's behind you. So check this one out. There's a little bend in the creek right here, so it's kind of like you're on a peninsula. T16, tent camping site 16. That's a good one too. I mean, they're all good, but this one just has a special feeling. This is my spot. I, I would stay at this spot if it were me. If you had a family, do T15 and 16, because they're near each other and they're both on the creek and there's little play areas in the stream. And a bridge. And a walking bridge and there's other trails off of the meadow. And it's like you could just camp and spend all day wandering around the campground. And the great thing is, even if you're parked up above like we are in our big RV, you're totally allowed to come down here and use the meadow. And so we've been here in most of the off season. So it's just like having this huge nature preserve and park in our backyard. There's a beautiful golf course about two miles away and the trees were all flowering and we went up and, and saw that for the first time just a few days ago. So despite being in extremely rural uh, Southern Oregon, there's this incredible golf course around the corner you'd never even know. 
Yeah, I need to bring my uh, my easel down here and paint this pond. We better get up and show these people the rest of the RV park. We're us big rigs park. They have 30 amp, 50 amp, full hookup, partial. It's a really big RV park and it's spread out all over. A beautiful lodge that they're renovating. like a little utopian village. I, I love it here. I would stay forever, but we do have other things to go see, so. And they're in the middle of the most beautiful part, we think, of the Oregon coast. We've been here six months and we have not run out of things to see and do. This is as close as you can get to having the beauty of the Oregon State Parks and a private RV park. And so we've been feeling pretty lucky to have this. We're a little reluctant to give out the secret. Make sure you save us a spot if you come, because we're gonna come back. We have good good neighbors in the campground. Yeah, Mike, have to override Mike's it. gonna- We don't have any, oh, I'm sure. Oh, it's okay. Do it all again, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> rookie, just a rookie. We have great neighbors and a good friend in the campground, and Mike's gonna do some drone footage for us today. Yay! Because we haven't invested in a drone yet, and Scott doesn't really want to spend the time learning right now. So Mike's volunteered to do a little flight for us. All of a sudden, it just plops in the water. I just go and just walk away. Go in my trailer, shut the door. And cry. Well, probably not cry. Maybe. Maybe, maybe a little bit. bit. <laughs> oh, I made it. <laughs> I made it. <laughs> I'm glad you're not a real pilot. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. <laughs> was falling. I had in sport mode. So Tammy wants me to hold out the camera like this and talk to it like it's a natural thing and I don't think that's gonna happen. She's better at this stuff. Yeah, the other thing that makes Honey Bear so unique is just the amount of acreage per guest. Um, it's, it, 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 okay, we'll just skip that one. Huh? I have picnic table slivers in my butt. You're always talking about your butt. I always have something in my butt. It's either sand. Either sand in my butt or splinters in my butt. This campground is so great that we're just gonna let you know it's on the Oregon coast and it's between <laughs> the town of Brookings on the south border and Astoria on the north border. That's a pretty broad range of territory. <laughs> the people here are just amazing. You're gonna feel like family by the time you leave. Thank you, Crow. Anyway, we're walking around the campground today, taking, walking around the campground today, taking some pictures and getting some video so we can have a little uh, memento of our time here. 
and we wanted to share with you what a cool place this is. It's uh, I want to live here forever, yeah, ever.